Hello boys and girls! I hope you're all having a fantastic day because I sure am. It's springtime and the birds are outside chirping. Can you hear them? Speaking of birds, I have a fantastic project for you guys. It's something mom, dad, and everyone in the family is going to absolutely love. Here it is. These are the watercolor birds that we're going to be making in this video. Follow along for a step-by-step -step process on how to get it done. We're going to start off by getting together our materials. You're going to need a piece of paper, your watercolor, brushes, and water. Next, you're going to pick out the paintbrush that you want to use. It can be whatever size you want, it doesn't matter. You're going to get that paintbrush wet. And now we need to put water into your watercolor, that way it's ready to go. If you have watercolor like me, you're going to need to add one drop to each of the colors that you have. The watercolor that I have comes in little tubes. That's why I only have to put one drop in there, that way it's ready to go. If you have the cakes, it's going to be kind of different. You're going to want to put two to three drops and mix it around a little bit. That way it's ready to go for you. You're going to first make a water circle. So just dip your brush in the water and then paint a circle onto your paper. This way the paper is already wet for when you put the watercolor onto it. <clears throat> so the first color I'm going to pick is green. So I'm going to dip my brush into that and then put the green onto the paper. Make sure that you're using two different colors when you're making your circle. We want them to be nice and two-toned. It doesn't matter what colors you use. Be creative, do whatever you want. So once you have both of your colors onto your paper, you're just gonna repeat that process four more times. And then we're going to let the paper dry for a while after that's done. After your paper is finished drying, you're going to need to get two more materials. You're going to need a piece of paper towel as well as a Sharpie. Using that paper towel, you're going to want to place it down on top of the circles that you made. You're going to press down on each of the circles. This way it gets rid of any excess water or wetness that might still be on your paper. So push down on all of them. Nice and good. This may also leave a nice pretty texture on there as well. Make your circles look even cooler than they did before. Next we're going to take our Sharpie and we're going to start to add the details to the bird. So here's some beak shapes and tail shapes that you guys can use. And then some wing shapes as well as eye shapes that you guys can use. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to take a better look at them. I'm going to start off though by outlining each of the circles. You're just going to want to outline it with your Sharpie. And then repeat this process for all five of the circles and then we'll move on from there.
Okay, now we're going to start adding the details to your birds. Super fun part can be super creative with it if you want. Or you can follow along with me. So we're going to be adding eyes, beaks, legs, wings, and a tail. Like I said, you can make it just like mine. Or you can go back and you can look at the examples that I gave you. Or if you want, just go crazy and make your own. Now that we're all done with the details, we're going to want to go back with watercolor and fill in the beaks and the wings on each of the birds that we made. You're going to start off by filling in the beaks. You're going to fill in the beak of each bird and you're going to want to use the red. This is close to an orangish color, just like most birds have. Next, you're going to want to fill in the wings of your birds. Be sure to fill in the wing using one of the colors that you used in your bird already. Remember, you're going to want to wash your brush in between colors so you don't mix them up. And there you go, your masterpiece is now all done. You're gonna wanna let it dry for a little bit longer before you hang it up on the fridge for all of your family to see. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. 
Remember, keep creating. Man, I can still hear those birds, can't you?